pipe A can fill the tank in 4 hours. So pipe A can fill the tank in 4 hours. While pipe B can fill it in 6 hours working separately. So independently these pipes would take 4 hours and 6 hours respectively. Pipe C can empty the whole tank. Remember pipe C is doing negative work. It can empty the whole tank in 4 hours. Pipe A can fill it in 4 hours. Pipe B can also fill it in 6 hours. But then pipe C can empty the whole tank in 4 hours. Now he, we don't know who that he is, but he opened the pipe A and pipe B simultaneously to fill that empty tank. He opened pipe A and pipe B. Pipe C has not come into picture, right? Only A and B have been opened simultaneously to fill the empty tank. He wanted to adjust his alarm so that he could open the pipe C when it was half filled. He wanted to adjust his alarm such that he will open the pipe C when the tank is half filled. But he mistakenly adjusted his alarm at a time when the tank would be three-fourth filled. So his intent was to open the pipe C, to run pipe C when the tank is half filled. But by mistake, he adjusted the alarm in such a way that he uh, went on to run the pipe C only after the tank was three-fourth filled. Now, what is the time difference between both the cases to fill the tank fully? What's the time difference between both the cases to fill the tank fully? All right, so clearly there are three pipes, A, B, and C, four hours, six hours, and four hours are times there. A and B are required to fill the tank. B and C are required to, sorry, A and B are required to fill the tank. C can empty the tank, all right? Now, pipe A and B have been initially opened to fill the empty tank. After half of the tank is filled, pipe C is opened in one case. After three-fourths of the tank is filled, pipe C is opened in the other case. We have to find out the difference between the two cases, all right? So case one is what? Uh, half of the work is done by A, B, C, A, A and B and the other half is done by A plus B minus C. C does negative work, right? So that's the point. What is case 2? Uh, case 2 is where 3 fourth of the work is done by A and B and 1 fourth of the work is done by A, B and C. I am using negative sign for C since he is doing negative work. Yeah. So half and half, three fourth and one fourth. Right. That is a breakup. Now let us first find out the time required when both A and B are working together and when all A, B and C are working together. Right. So when A and B work together, how much time will it take to fill the tank? See, you know, when two persons are working together, the time required is A, B by A plus B. So four hours and six hours. So the time required will be four into six by four plus six. So that is like 24 by 10, 2.4 hours. 2.4 hours, which is like... 120 plus 0.4 hours is what 24 minutes right 120 plus 24 144 minutes yeah i mean just in case we have to do a breakup so a and b together uh, will be able to fill the tank in 144 minutes or 2 hours and 24 minutes yeah any format that you want 2.4 hours 2 hours 24 minutes or 144 minutes what happens when all a b and c work together a b and c work together i'm using negative sign for c since it is doing negative work yeah now either you can use the formula a b c by a b plus b c plus c or go by the unitary method what is the unitary method? Take their capacities. A's capacity is 1 by 4. B's capacity is 1 by 6. C's capacity is minus 1 by 4. C is doing negative work. 4 hours, the capacity is 1 by 4. 6 hours, capacity is 1 by 6. 4 hours, again, the capacity is 1 by 4. But since C is doing negative work, you have to consider a negative sign. So overall capacity comes out to be 1 by 6, which implies the time required is 6 hours. You are able to follow. So when A and B are working together, they can fill the tank in 2.4 hours, 2 hours and 24 minutes or 144 minutes. But when all A, B and C are working together, they take 6 hours to fill the tank. That is it. Now, based on the amount of work that they are doing, fill up the values and do the difference, calculate the difference. So, what happens in this case? Time required. See, A and B can do the full work in 144 minutes. So, they will do half of the work in half of 144 minutes. Plus, half of, let's just calculate in terms of minutes. It will be easy. 6 hours is how much? 6 hours is 360 minutes. Yes or no? So that we have a common unit in both the sides. 360 minutes. So half of 360 minutes. How much is that? This is uh, 72. Yeah, 72 and this is 180. So 72, 52 minutes. Right? How about the second case? The time required is 3 fourth of 144 plus 1 fourth of 360 simplify so this is 90 this is 3 fourth of 144 would be what uh, 108 yeah 36 times 3 108 so this comes out to be 108 what's the total time 108 plus 90 198 198 minutes that's it so in one case the time required is 252 minutes the other case the time required is 198 minutes what's the difference 
The difference is the requirement, right? What is the time difference between both the cases? Time difference in both the cases is what? 252 minus 198, 54 minutes. And that's your answer. 54 minutes. Option 2. So, in my view, a very simple question. All you need to do is understand it properly and then try it out. Yeah? So, find out the time. And then many of these steps can be cut down. Like, let me highlight uh, all that is not needed here. Like, like, for example, when you're doing it yourself, you don't have to write half of A plus B plus half of A plus B minus C or three-fourth of A plus B and one-fourth of... Don't, don't waste your time in all this. Right? You just do this calculation. One is this calculation. I mean, this has to be done. This is not red. This would be... I mean, this is required. What I'm saying is this is required. Whatever is in red is not required. Yeah? So, what you do here is this, right? Just do this calculation. Time required when both of them are working together. Time required when all three of them are working together. And based on that, substitute the values. I mean, these calculations you have to do very quickly. That's it. Play with the numbers. You just have to play with the numbers. There's, there's not much of paperwork here. Alright, so cut down the number of steps and yeah, try and get the answer as quickly as possible. Option 2, 54 is the final answer.